I mean, going right into McDonald's, so needs to get into position. Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I just wanted to wish you belated Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year too as well. Thank you for all you folks who have been tuning in, who have subscribed and watched our videos and joined us on our journey. We have today FSD Beta V11.4.9. Uh, these were minor updates. They had a recall of the software because there were some bugs some major bugs and uh, we just got that update here that addresses it perhaps not for our model but for other models that may have been uh, impacted by it in this first impressions video not much changes uh, to be seen uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes in this particular video i'll be driving from one city which is richmond hill to scarborough i'll be going to a mcdonald's in scarborough and i want to see how well or how smooth the drive is there shouldn't be much traffic on the roads right now so that way i can give it more freedom the system more freedom we can see if it's going to nag more often too as well we want to check and see also if we have any issues with the uh, getting into the wrong lane or lane drifting and so on so without further ado let's uh let's begin so we have our first left turn coming up here Right off the bat, I get an ask saying, pay attention, put your hand on the wheel because I'm looking at the screen. So perhaps that's what caused it. <clears throat> I got a little bit close to that car on the right, but, but I was able to see that uh, there was no, uh, it was not going to hit the car, obviously. It was just close. What I'm seeing here too as well is the arcs for the ultrasonic sensors. So that has been brought back. Before, in the previous iterations, they removed the ultrasonic sensors here. So you can see here that interaction between close objects and our ultrasonic sensors. So we kind of have a, uh, a curvature road here. And usually it indicates... In 200 meters, turn it didn't do that. Okay. So that's good. And we have narrow lanes here, cars parked up on either side of the road. She did that well. Now turn right on to Jefferson Forest Drive. I want to look at the screen and I'm just going to see if it's going to, it's going to nag again. So I want to look at the screen. I'm looking down. Right. I'm looking away from the screen. And she does that well. She does that fine. All well, you can see now it's asking to, to apply some. So that's part of the recall too as well in terms of the ui you now have that notification saying to apply slight force in the middle of the screen so we will be running this on assertive mode and i'm going to try to give the system more free reign in terms of how it handles we have to make this left turn here and it does that pretty well One thing it doesn't do well, though, is recognize railway crossing. So we have a, tr uh, a set of railway tracks here. It's not going to recognize that at all and slow down. So I'm going to have to slow down here because we want to really hit up that suspension. And I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I don't want to do any repairs right now, to be honest. So I wouldn't really call that a disengagement, really. It would have, it would have uh, navigated that fine, but more of a personal preference, but I think it, I think it's a general preference. You, you want to slow down for railway crossings. Okay. Indicates. It indicates well, usually it doesn't indicate to get into this lane and it did that fine. I'm not too sure if it's because the car um, in front of us indicated so that's not really consistent okay so now we have the right turn stopping for traffic light they can go up mm, yeah it started to get a little bit too much of acceleration there <laughs> as soon as the light turned green she just 
gunned it. So I'm realizing now that we do have, I mean, I've had three or four notices to apply feedback to the steering wheel. It does seem, again, so applying a turning force to the steering wheel, it seems to be happening a lot more frequently now. I'm gonna have to bump it up if you have a car in front of us. I just wanna double check. I'm gonna use the, the windshield wipers. Yeah, it is on auto, because I also wanna double check and see if the windshield wipers are working as it should now, if there's any improvements. Because in the past iterations, it has been terrible, to say the least. Um, uh, we see the car here. Oh, actually, I, I thought it was responding for that car turning in there. Because I know, I know for a fact that it should improve the, uh, the intersections because of the video module that they released. It should increase response time, reduce latency. You see here? So we just had what's happening here. It's having some issues here with the lane drifting still. So it's picking up cars quite on the left lane over there as blue. So it almost went into the wrong lane and then it corrected itself uh, quickly. But it had some, it did stare in that direction. So it was, it was kind of strange. Okay, so we have right of way now. And she got up to speed. And didn't hesitate at all with that left turn. So that's an improvement. Uh, based on my first impressions, it looks pretty good. I mean, except for that lane drifting where it just ran, randomly wants to go into the wrong left lane. Uh, in this case, I mean, in that previous interaction, there was a left turn coming up. So she was trying to get into the left lane in advance, which was all right. But it was... You know, let, let me know what you think. <laughs> it didn't really feel, I mean, it wasn't right. We gotta get into the ramp. I would start indicating. That was a little bit too last minute, to be honest. And then we have a high curvature in the road here and she's kind of going a little too spicy on the turn. Okay, so is she gonna merge onto the highway now? Yep, oh, yeah, she indicates. I'm gonna bump it up here to 110. She does that well. And we're gonna test now to see if the windshield wipers actually work as it should because now we have a car in front of us. Oh, I guess not. I mean, I could still see, granted, but I would love to, you know, clear my screen. Okay, she wants to get into the speedy lane. She wants to get into the overtaking lane. I would have just chilled and kept my position in the middle lane, but okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to disengage for that. I'm going to report that, actually. I mean, even though it did the maneuver, it did feel unsafe because I would have indicated and then get into the lane, but then I also would not swing into the lane like it did. It, it just, like, it just swung into the lane, literally. And it didn't really feel safe, so I had to report that one there. So I'm just watching the flow of traffic behind me they obviously want to go faster than the cars on the right. So I'm just manually increasing the speed to match that flow behind me. So now she wants to get into the lane here, but she's slowing down pretty aggressively and we have cars right behind me. She needs to get into this lane here. This person doesn't seem to want to let me in. So I'm going to give it some jewels and I'm going to get myself across because I'm coming off here. I'm not too sure. And that's the reason why I'm not too sure why she wanted to go into the HOB lane. Because we have a turn coming up just now, it's a little bit unsafe to do that. So what I want to do actually is I'm going to make minimal lane changes. Because <laughs> right now on assertive mode, it does not feel really, um, 
you know, confident, inspiring. It doesn't really feel, you know, like it's assertive. It feels more aggressive, like it's swinging in. Well, the swinging into the HOV lane is, is just generally an issue. But in terms of, it shouldn't, it shouldn't actually be slowing down so aggressively to get into the lane. Like it feels like it's trying to just butt itself in. And that's, that feels aggressive. So now we see here the blind spot, the, uh, the blind spot indication here. Uh, but now it's not showing up. Okay, and they're giving me some room, so now Marsha can go into the into this position here. These folks have their hazard lights on. I don't think the system is picking that up. Perhaps it needs some more training on that. It picks up left and right turn indicators, but hazard lights, it looks like, uh, uh, hazard lights on the highways at least, looks like it needs to improve. Once we make a right turn here, we have cars coming in from the right side at speed. He's going at some good speed. It still hasn't used the windshield wipers. I mean, I can still see stuff, so it's okay. But I'm not too sure why she's slowing down here to 90. She should be above a 90. Because cars behind me are going at 100 kilometers. So the, yeah, that that's strange. I, I was slow down some more because we have some cars coming up. Okay, so that was all right. That was okay. That was okay. So I'm just gonna clear it out here for you folks because uh, I mean you don't want to be watching a dirty screen. She's making that turn. She does that. That, that was pretty composed, pretty well. So that was good. I was just watching the edges, the uh, the aisle, because I don't want to curb rash my uh, my rims, right? My wheels. I'm hoping V12 helps a lot with these kind of small interventions. Interventions have been reduced over the past couple iterations. It's still there. Um, the system is still overly cautious too as well. Uh, but based on the last left turns, the couple left turns that we had, it seems like it's slightly improved. I didn't have to intervene there. But then again, it wasn't, it wasn't in a high traffic, a dense situation where you have tons of cars and vehicles and vulnerable road units like pedestrians and a whole bunch of different obstacles and objects. And we're coming up to our final destination and this one might be tricky, so I might have to disengage entirely because we have to make a left turn, uh, well, unprotected left in the middle of the road. And well, I mean, the road might, it looks like the road is not that busy, so it should be okay. I mean, going right into McDonald's, so it needs to get into position. Whoops, so yeah, so that, that's a disengagement there. So, I mean, on that note, actually, I'm gonna just cancel that and, and get into this lane here. It needs to get into position to make that left turn to get into the actual lane. The positioning was, was completely off. It was actually in the, uh, the main road, not in the middle. So, well, that's it folks. I mean, I'm gonna call that quits for today. Um, that, was, that was the actual disengagement there. It, it wasn't safe. It's, it, it, it looks like it had some difficulties with the lines and getting itself into position, also keeping the wheels straight. Uh, and just being in the middle of the lane, it, 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 didn't, it didn't do that at all. So um, there's some work to be done on that. And I'm hoping with V12 and with tons of video feeds uh, as input, we will see some more natural interaction, at least with the left turns, right turns, lane positionings. I think with V12, lane positionings will be, will be really sweet. Um, but of course, it wouldn't be perfect. And, and, and with the future iterations of that, it'll be much better than what we have right now. More natural feeling. So yes, folks, I mean, if you enjoyed our first impressions, I think overall it is, uh, it was, it was pretty decent, pretty smooth. Uh, we still have some issues with it's uh, swinging into the lanes, the HOV lanes and so on. Uh, no issues with the forks. You saw a few new features with the blind spot detection, 
and we got back the arc for the ultrasonic sensors so i'm happy i'm overall overall um there's some slight very slight improvements but uh if you enjoyed it don't forget to to like subscribe click that notification bell and of course leave any comments if you have any feedback and what your th what are your thoughts on terms of this uh, new software 11.4.9 so i wish you and your family all the best for the new year and thank you for tuning in take care bye bye